Hey everyone, welcome back to Bedros Station. It's been a tough two weeks. Uh, I'm not going to cry about it, but the two of us, we both had COVID. So we had to deal with that. It, were, it knocked us out completely. Um, don't worry, this isn't a YouTube video about how I survived COVID or anything like that. It's not going to be that dramatic. But we went through the entire Netflix catalogue. <laughs> so we're super desperate for new content to watch now. But we came out the other side. Thank goodness that we're vaccinated. Um, so we're super chuffed that we're alive and healthy. And what a great welcome back, at least for myself, because today I get to talk about the new Apple AirPods 3. Well, I'm super excited about what Apple have released. It's the third generation AirPods, which uh, adds to the lineup of what Apple has to offer now in regards to AirPods. It's uh, an all new design and it's sweat and water resistant. It has adaptive EQ. And what's really exciting is that it benefits from spatial audio with head tracking. I've got the box here, so it's going to be a unboxing video with a little bit of re a review as well. So let's dive in. So we've got the box here and like with the iPhone 13 box and also the 12, it's very conscious of the environment. So there's no plastic film on this. It has the usual paper uh, unwrapping, which is still just as enjoyable. Love it. So if we open up the box, you get excited about the fact that there's a little envelope here with some uh, critical information. Uh, let's double check if there is a sticker. And there's no sticker with this one this time, which is quite surprising. I can't remember if they're included in the AirPods or AirPods Pro. Uh, but that's a shame. I mean, that sticker is just going to end up in a drawer anyway. It's not as if I was going to put it anywhere, but it's good to know. And here you have the uh, AirPods case. It's a MagSafe case, so that means it's magnetic and it will clip on to any MagSafe charger that you've got. I've got one, so I'll show you that um, shortly. Let's open this up. And there you go. It's actually smaller than the AirPods Pro case we've got here, which is quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. So this is AirPods, third generation, and AirPods Pro. So if I line up the, the previous models, we've got the um, AirPods, which is the second generation, and the new third generation AirPods, and then you've got the AirPods Pro. I haven't yet got my hands on the AirPods Max yet, yet but I will. So putting the older models to the sides, let's open it up. So there we go. Now they look really similar to, um, to the AirPods Pro. Similar um, shape and size. Let me show you. So we've got the uh, AirPods Pro here with the ear tip and then the new AirPods here as well. Let me lay them down. And what I can do is also put the uh, second generation AirPod as well. So as you can see, it's taken on a similar shape to the AirPods Pro um, with a shorter stem and it benefits from a new universal fit as it did the first, but it's a slightly different shape. So it's got a bigger head, which would hopefully sit in uh, your ear, but everyone has different ear shape sizes. For example, the second generation AirPods, they could never sit in my ears uh, very well. I think I've got big ear holes. Um, However, the uh, AirPod Pros, they, it's a, such a perfect fit for me. So I'm super excited to try the fit of the third generation AirPods. So let's have a look. It's, it's quite 
quite a snug fit actually, I'm quite impressed. It's much more snug than it is the second generation AirPods. How's it look? I think I would have to twist them a little bit forward in order for them to sit better for me. But then again, everyone is different. So for some people, if they've got luxurious shaped ears, maybe they can go straight down. So what's different uh, with these is that they have a, an all new design. Uh, they're light, lightweight and contoured and the stem is 33% shorter than the second generation AirPods. And it also benefits from the force sensor, which is uh, on the side, much like the AirPods Pros. And a custom high dynamic range amplifier. The new AirPods, they take sound to the next level. It includes adaptive EQ, so with, your, with the equalizer, it automatically adapts to the to the song and to the amount of uh, external sounds that it hears. And with this new driver, it benefits from um, spatial audio and head tracking too. So it also benefits from a easy setup. So if you simply open the case near your iPhone, it will detect it. And then it will ask you if you wanna connect these AirPods, which is super cool. It then goes through a setup. It goes through the, the media control uh, options the percentages of both the case and also each AirPod, and it's it's connected, it's brilliant. And it will automatically connect to any device that you're using that is registered within your iCloud account. So, it's, so if you move from Mac to an iPad or even an Apple TV, these AirPods will connect with you. So these also benefit from better battery life, now up to six hours worth of usage just from one charge, which is basically a full extra hour compared to the second generation AirPods. And what I love about uh, this new case is that it's MagSafe compatible. So if you've got a MagSafe charger, it will stick on, which is brilliant. I think this is gonna help a lot, especially if you're charging on the go. So as I mentioned before, they've completely redesigned the audio hardware so that it can give you crisp and rich sounds, which is great for listening to a music or watching your uh, favorite films on any of your Apple devices. But also it enhances voice quality as well. Because it's covered in a special acoustic mesh, it's capable of screening out surrounding background noise as well. So it just focuses on your voice. These new AirPods benefit from an AAC ELD feature, which you don't exactly need to know the acronym <laughs> of that, but it's a superior speech codec that offers full HD voice quality. So it really does add to um, the quality of these AirPods. Because of the H1 chip, it benefits from adaptive EQ. So it tunes the music uh, based on each individual's ear geometry and fit. So these aren't gonna sound the same to two people because each person has a different fit. And I've tried spatial audio with head tracking on the AirPod Pros, they are amazing. So instead of having a stereo sound, the, the sound is simulated as if it's all around you, in front and behind as well. And once you hear that, it's tough to go back to a stereo sound. It's like a front row concert seat when you're listening to music and being in a full on cinema with surround sound while watching films. But also with FaceTime as well, if you've got multiple people on your FaceTime, it uses spatial audio to position the sound of the person compared to where you see them on the screen, which is amazing. You also benefit from Hey Siri. Hopefully she's not gonna wake up. We're all good. If you want, you can enable it so it's always on. So wherever you are, if you've got these in, you say, Hey Siri she will respond to you to any commands that you give, which is brilliant. And you can even uh, announce notifications. So uh, specify from certain apps, she or he reads out uh, messages. And my favorite part is that you benefit from the enhanced Find My. So in the Find My app, you'll be able to see these as well. And you can detect um, 
where they are nearby you if even if it's like down the couch a few meters away you'll be able to look for your airpods using find my i've included a summary of the four different uh, airpod designs so there we have it i'm super excited to try these out maybe go for a run with them and uh, test them in the field and definitely get a feel for uh, the sound that it can it can produce so let me get out of the way a little bit so I can just fit in some space to say don't forget to like and subscribe and watch out for some upcoming reviews including the Apple Watch 7.